This beautiful mission, San Luis Rey, has been a part of my life for as long as I remember. I was always aware of the love my parents, Bob and Estelle Gleason, shared preserving its beauty and heritage. Attending San Luis Rey Academy, I was acutely aware of its power and majesty. Who knew then I would join my parents and serve on the very first Heritage Ball Committee in 1984? Mission San Luis Rey is not only a national historical landmark, but it represents so much to so many. Spirituality, devotion, legacy, and love. It is that love that brought me back to this mission time and time again to serve on past Heritage Ball Committees and to join other dedicated volunteers this year as we recognize and honor the 225th anniversary of Mission San Luis Rey. The grounds at Mission San Luis Rey are holy because people come here. It's holy because it's just blessed by the presence of God in other people. Mission San Luis Rey is turning 225 years. The order is 800 years old. This mission is one fourth of the 800 years. Every group in the course of the whole time have always contributed to the mission and to its well being. It's just profound. Part of our 225th anniversary celebration, we really wanted to look at the whole history of the mission. It has been a part of so many families for so many generations. People come here for history, they come here for the spirituality, the peace. It really means so many things to so many different people. It's been part of this community before Oceanside was Oceanside. San Luis Rey was the original city here. Oceanside came later. I mean, we're part of American history. 1798, is when we were founded. Men came here to evangelize. They came from Spain to Mexico to California. That's why we have three flag posts in front of our mission. The friars own the mission, but really it belongs to the community. That relationship is above all what's most important to us. Mission San Luis Rey is so much bigger than just myself and my family. I really did grow up here. One of my earliest memories was midnight mass at Christmas in the historic church, and it was just really incredibly special. I was married here at the mission, and we have two beautiful daughters. They love being a part of everything that we do here, all of our celebrations, knowing that this is a special place for our family. Working with the friars and being among the friars has just been such a blessing for us to see how they care about people and express God's love. And so we take that very seriously and want people to feel welcome and that Franciscan hospitality when they come here. The friars are so down to earth and so relatable. There's someone who's there to help guide you and really love you for who you are. I've met so many wonderful friars that have truly exemplified that. The friars have a particular style. And that style is to be really human. We try to live simply, and we try to be obedient. And obedient means we're listening to each other. What are the needs of the community? The Suniga family has been involved with the church for a long time. The mission is active with weddings, funerals, quinceañeras, baptisms, catechism, have mass. We often have retreats. We have a pepper tree that's almost 200 years old. We have a gift shop. We have a museum. We also have a coffee shop with a beautiful garden. There is a cemetery. I just recently lost my husband. I did have his service here. I plan to be buried next to him, and it's a circle of life. We love people to come and just experience our sacred grounds. Francis really saw himself as being a creature of God. That's why he can call a tree his brother and the water his sister. And Francis didn't like the idea of a person be superior over another person. And we've all professed this. As part of our 225th anniversary celebration this year, we thought this was the perfect time to bring back the Heritage Ball. It has been such a big part of the fundraising for over 30 years here at the mission. And we also wanted to thank people who have been so generous to the mission for so many years. 
many things around the mission continue to this day because of the Heritage Ball. This very church that we had to retrofit and the courtyard that's right outside the mission church. Because we're an active mission, there's a lot of repairs that need to continue. So with 225 year old buildings, it's an ongoing effort to keep them restored and in good condition. The mission church is no exception. This year, the fundraiser for the Heritage Ball will go to repair the walls in the mission church that have been damaged. The church is the heart of the mission. So it's important for us that our community knows that the doors are open and they can come in here and feel that peace, feel that serenity, feel God's presence around them. I love to go into the sacred church to give thanks and feel the history of what's come before me. All walks of life come in here. They're amazed of how beautiful it is. They'll stand right here before they walk through the whole church and they walk away with joy from their experience at Mission San Luis Rey. The mission is so many things to so many people. We truly rely upon the generosity of our donors, the people that come here. We couldn't do it without them. People have been very generous. They've been very good to those of us who come here. They identify themselves with us. It's a mutual respect. So it's time for younger people to come. So that would be a nice thing. Our vision and our hope for the future is very bright at the mission. It's important for us to continue to show our Franciscan charism, to make sure that the mission is part of the community for the next generations to come. The mission has been so blessed for so many years that so many people contribute and become a part of our history. From myself, from the Franciscan friars, and from all of our staff here at Mission San Luis Rey, we thank all of you for your continued generosity and support of the mission.